Many US citizens are chasing their American dream outside of the US border, with a large number of Americans now living a more peaceful and better life in Mexico. But how did Mexico become so appealing all of a sudden? And is it really that easy for an average American to move there? In this video, we'll be answering these questions, so stay tuned to the very end if you want to find out the surprising answer. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. So, why are Americans drawn to Mexico? Right now, about 800,000 immigrants from the US are living in Mexico. That's more than in any other country. For comparison, the second country on the list, Guatemala, only has a little over 50,000 expats in Mexico. Immigrants from the United States make up about 8% of the expats in the country. But what's drawing them there? One of the main reasons many Americans are moving to Mexico is the emerging remote work trend in the US. A sizable portion of the American workforce has joined the trend of the new remote work model that an increasing number of businesses provide. The past two years have been transformative years for remote work. Before the COVID pandemic, only 8% of employees primarily worked remotely. And as of 2022, around 21% of the US workforce is working remotely a quick rise of nearly 160% growth. And the top US-based industries represented by remote workers are healthcare, financial services, and technology. With this newfound independence, many US citizens are considering traveling abroad for a vacation, even if just for a short while, and Mexico has become a popular choice. It is far ahead of other destinations like the UK, Germany, Australia, and others combined. Apart from emigrating to Mexico, Americans are also the biggest tourist group in the country, and some of them never leave post their visa expiration, thanks to the lenient visa checks in Mexico. During the height of remote work, when the pandemic first hit, closing down all of the borders across the world, Mexico was still allowing American tourists into their country. Because of this, Mexico became home to the largest number of American expats. But that wasn't the only reason Americans chose this specific country. To begin, remote employees can more easily collaborate with their teams back home due to the fact that Mexican time zones are very similar to American ones. On top of that, digital nomads, freelancers, and other remote workers appreciate the convenience of being able to easily access home, whether that's by direct flights to multiple US cities or a picturesque drive across the border. More importantly, the Mexican government understands this and they've made the visa process extremely easy for Americans, which makes moving there much less complicated. Because many digital nomads enter Mexico on tourist visas, it's nearly impossible to know how many Americans have overstayed those visas and are living and working there full-time. Additionally, Mexico even offers a retirement visa for people who are 55 years old or older and have a consistent monthly income of $115,000 or more. As living costs rise in America, many Americans, specifically those retired folks on fixed incomes who are most affected, are choosing to relocate using retirement visas. While yes, the media coverage of Mexico paints it in a very negative light, Many Americans don't care about that and are still drawn towards this tropical country. Additionally, despite warnings from the US State Department, many Americans continue to visit Mexico and its popular cities like San Miguel de Allende and Mexico City. They also stress that millions of tourists visit the country every year without incident. Surprisingly, crime and violence have decreased in several Mexican states, including Mexico City, Leon Marcan, Guerrero, Kataro and Yakutan. Tourist destinations like San Otsapa are usually safe. However, visitors should still be aware of secluded places at night and overcrowded areas during busy seasons because of the possibility of criminal activity. Many Americans have learned the hard way that Mexico is a great place to live thanks to their own experiences and extensive research. This has helped fuel the growing number of Americans who are contemplating Mexico as a potential permanent residence. But the question is, why are Americans leaving their country to live in a different, considered less developed country? What does Mexico offer to attract these expats? Well, the answer is really simple. Cost of living. 
It's no secret that the cost of living is rising across the US. That is, homestead, food, and utilities are costing more, taxes are rising, and incomes are falling when compared to real inflation. On the other hand, the cost of living in Mexico is often lower than in the USA. On average, Mexicans pay 50-70% to less than Americans in several categories, including housing, utilities, transportation, and personal care. With the cost of living on the rise in the US, many Americans would benefit financially by relocating to Mexico. Those on fixed incomes, like retired people, may find this especially difficult, but it's something to think about for any American thinking of relocating. And just beyond the border, the exchange rates between the US dollar and the Mexican peso have been slowly attracting many Americans to move. It considerably increases the purchasing power of the dollar in Mexico, making it a more alluring financial refuge compared to the US. Overall, the cost of living in Mexico is about 45% lower than it is in the USA. Also, compared to the United States, most everyday expenses such as utility bills, eating out, transportation, and the internet are far lower in Mexico. An apartment in a highly desirable neighborhood in Mexico City, for instance, may run you about $500 a month. But a comparable condo in Manhattan, on the other hand, might easily cost four or five times as much. In short, people are moving to places like Mexico because they're not paying as much for the necessities and their incomes are not being hit by unavoidable rising costs, especially property taxes. The cost of purchasing a home in the United States has been steadily rising over the past few decades. Property taxes, impacted by factors such as the neighborhood and the home's worth, have surpassed inflation in the last 10 years. As a result, homeowners are gradually forking up a sizable chunk of their salaries to pay for these taxes. Also, keeping up with property maintenance has become a major financial burden due to the skyrocketing prices involved. The time and money needed to finish them keeps increasing, killing the hopes of many homeowners as they fear they'll run out of their savings. On the other hand, Mexican homeowners have a more budget-friendly choice. Both the property taxes and the total cost of maintenance are way lower than what they are in the United States. As a result, homeowners in Mexico can take care of their properties without the usual financial strain that Americans face daily. Transport the United States has a more advanced transportation system compared to Mexico, but that comes at a really high price. But despite having a good transportation network, the most convenient way for an average American traveler is to use a car thanks to its adaptability and comfort when traversing the country's enormous landscape. Cars are convenient, but they can be costly due to the high cost of fuel, insurance, registration and repairs. The national average for gas is 99 cents per liter which is lower than Mexico's, though it varies substantially by state and time of year. Depending on the state and the type of car, insurance and registration fees can potentially add up to hundreds, if not thousands of dollars per year. Mexico, although it ranks lower than the US when it comes to the effectiveness and efficiency of its transportation network, offers far cheaper rates than its northern neighbors. From one city to another in Mexico, you can take a bus and the fare can vary from $5 to $50, depending on the distance and the bus's comfort level. And inside the city, the taxis can range from $1 to $3 per kilometer, making them both economical and widely used. Also, depending on the town's size, you can find various forms of public transportation in Mexico. Nonetheless, most of the country is walkable thanks to its pedestrian-friendly streets and plenty of sidewalks. A good example would be taking the bus if you're staying in a popular tourist destination like Cancun. At 50 cents, a single ride on the bus is surprisingly cheap, but frequent riders can save money by purchasing a monthly pass for $14 to $17. But if you find yourself in a smaller town, walking or riding a bike might be enough to get you around. Healthcare Healthcare is one of the most important aspects of life for almost everyone. And that's one thing everyone knows doesn't come cheap in the USA. The US spends about twice as much on healthcare as other industrialized nations. In 2021, Americans paid about $433 billion for out-of-pocket medical and dental services. In comparison to the United States, where regular medical care, specialist treatments, and prescription drugs are far more expensive, 
Mexico's healthcare system is both economical and of good quality. Around 1 million Americans travel to Mexico annually for dental and medical operations, and one of the reasons they do so is because of how affordable it is. These people can cut their healthcare costs by 40 to 65 percent without leaving their country. For example, you might pay as little as three to four dollars for a primary care physician's appointment, 20 to 35 dollars for a specialist, and 30 dollars for professional and fast dental care. Thanks to Mexico being a major producer of medications, medicines are also cheaper in that country. Take antibiotic refills as an example. They can cost as little as $11. The vast financial disparity between the two countries' healthcare systems explains why many Americans with chronic illnesses choose to make Mexico their permanent home instead of making frequent transborder excursions for treatment. Mexico offers different levels of coverage and quality offered by the public and private sectors of Mexico's healthcare system. All citizens and legal residents of Mexico have access to healthcare, either at no cost or at a significantly reduced cost thanks to the public sector's use of funds from taxes and social security. And compared to the United States, the average cost of healthcare in Mexico is far lower. In 2018, Total health spending per capita in the United States was $10,586, while in Mexico it was $1,122, according to the World Health Organization. In other words, healthcare spending in the US was over nine times higher than in Mexico. Additionally, healthcare spending in the United States amounted to 16.9% of GDP compared to 5.5% in Mexico. A day at a Mexican hospital, for instance, would cost less than $120, compared to about $1,514 in the United States. Additionally, a typical doctor's appointment will cost less than $40 in Mexico, but in the United States, it averages roughly $176. And you'd see this trend continue throughout the board. All sorts of surgeries and checkups are far cheaper in Mexico. This cheaper healthcare system has also played a huge role in many Americans who feared bankruptcy because of healthcare deciding to move to Mexico. But what do you think? Would you want to move to Mexico after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more videos like this.